Sophia Zhang won't leave the house without one very important accessory, her smartphone. Sophia takes a taxi to the office, orders breakfast and lunch. After work, she jumps on a train, calls in her dinner and pedals home from the station. She pays for it all using her smartphone. Mobile payments in China surged 382% in 2016 compared to 2015. Transactions were worth almost $9 trillion. And most of these transactions were made using apps and payment platforms owned or backed by China's two tech giants, Alibaba and Tencent. Every month, more than a billion people use Alipay and WeChat Pay for simple transactions like buying street food and more complex deals like taking out a personal loan. Financial technology is eating into the business of traditional state-owned banks. The growth uh, of mobile payment in China reflect the underdevelopment of the traditional financial institution in China because there are so many people are either under bank or no bank services. State-owned banks are alarmed. They're making their online banking apps more user-friendly and dropping some fees. They are also picking up very fast because there's almost no barrier in terms of technologies. But the Chinese central bank is also complaining that a cashless society threatens deposits and fees. In July, China urged consumers and businesses not to refuse cash. Then in early August, it fined Alipay $600,000 for breaching rules. But Alipay is one step ahead. It launched a chain of stores in 2017 where, not surprisingly, mobile payment is encouraged and cash is not. While China is no doubt the number one cashless market in the world, there are still places in the country where cash is king, like traditional farmers' markets. Oh,